Rebellion and Empire. And Empire. We, this is Timmy Cliff here, first video, so first video, and we're playing Star Wars Empire at War. We're gonna play Skimish Battle. Okay, so I wanna make it a little fair, so we're gonna do a first 2 1 2 battle. I ain't played this in a while, so if I'm a bit rusty, forgive me. And we're gonna start off with a land battle. On Naboo. Actually, I think Hop would be a much more challenging level because it's a bit bigger. Okay, we've got a land of Hop. You know, Hop is a dangerous place where the rebels always gather up. They have the most advantage. Reporting. First thing first, I'm gonna. Moving out. Oh, look at these. Look at these things. These are what rebellion ride. They shield up. Okay, so I'm just gonna send my that troops and get them to advance One, to the command post. Right away, sir. So that we can get started. I warn you though, the rebellion are very resilient. They do not talk. Upgrade in progress. You can also look, you can if you if you don't know how to play Reporting. this. You left click on these troops, troops and then you hear it say that. Reporting. To upgrade your to upgrade your um, stations. Reporting. You just click upgrade on one of these. Complete. See, my upgrade is complete, so now my troopers have more so. thick leather. Recruiting. We're gonna do one more, so choose your reinforcements. Gonna send one over actually we're gonna send two over there. Two over here. Zone. And already. Ready. As you can see, they do look different than the clones because the after the Clone Wars, the, oops, after the Clone Wars, the Emperor ordered the ordered the Old Republic to destroy the Jedi, but. The only one that survives in the rebel in the battle between Empire and Rebel is Obi Wan yes, Kenobi, sir. and we're gonna try and flank them from. Let's see if we go on that route over here. Yeah, we're, right we're trying to flank them from this side. Roger. Okay, we're Moving gonna to area, we're gonna keep these two over Heading here. Out. I'm gonna spread them out so that they don't man. get cut, so they don't get fired on. Okay, Reporting for those of you that don't know how to do this either, you you left click on the one that says take oak cover. Okay, I can see that one of my men have already engaged the enemy. And as you can see, where is she? Ah, there's Katara. So she's got a bomb. Oh, here comes Goofy on R2, trying to do their best to, you know, keep low profile. There's a stormtrooper coming after them. Chill them out. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing that they're not the welcoming committee. Oh no! Retreat! Retreat! Oh no, retreat! Retreat, retreat! I ain't losing no troopers on this match. Those of you watching this, I'm not really a good loser. I don't. I take my battles a little serious. I like to play around now and then. Oh, and the enemy's coming now. The enemy's in for a big boom. Oh, where are they? They do disappear off of the map because your troops have to make a circle to find them. Oh, take cover. Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, no. Oh, that was a different troop that was commanding. Oh, they're all too much. Go back to the command post. They got you covered. There they are. There are too many. You can do it. Charge the line. Those of you that, those of you that are curious about how these guys work, you can have a look at the little column on the left hand side over here. It says that these guys are strong against my troops, but my troops are stronger than against them. So it's kind of an advantage, disadvantage. So.